好啦，咁啊，上年嘅 reading 咧就出咗呢個 artificial intelligence 人工智能啊。咁今年咧，我想咧，大家記一記 AI writing assistants 嘅一啲例子，因為同學生有關嘅 writing。OK， Chat GPT、Word Tune Spices 同埋 Writer。OK， 呢三個例子可以記咗佢啦。咁作為一個 assistant， 即係咧你就先寫咗篇文，咁咧佢就可以有啲 suggestions 俾你啦。喺個 language 同埋 content 咧。都可以變得更加好。咁當當然咧，佢亦都可以有濫用嘅情況，因為你直情可以問佢點寫，佢成篇幫你寫都得。咁呢個就係濫用啦。但係亦都可以善用啊嘛。咁可以記一記。咁佢最基本咧就可以 rewrite a sentence。咁啊，揀低佢啦。佢就可以話：喂，可以用下其他 sentence structure 或者咧，佢可以幫你 trim a few words to cut to the chase， 即係咧幫你令整到佢精簡啲。直講嗰個重點啊 ，summarize the heart of the problem。咁第二咧就係呢啲都好基本啦。佢話可以咩 ？Proficient at catching grammatical errors 係對呢個嘅 non-native English speakers 有幫助。咁亦都可以點咧？喺內容上咧，佢話咩啊 ？Sprinkle in some historical context， 放一啲咧歷史嘅元素，一啲例子落去，令到篇內容咧係提升。Or even adding a joke， 甚至咧係講一個笑話咁樣都得喎。OK， 佢呢度話 provide a major perk that does no harm editing or writing。perk 咧即係個 benefit， 一個好處啦。咁啊，例如咧，佢咧誒呢個作家咧，佢就寫呢段嘢啦。佢就話咧，有時咧，哇啲網站成日都要你俾個 email address 佢啊。OK， 但係佢唔係淨係想 contact 你，其實就係想知道咧 ，link your activities across sites and apps to serve you relevant ads， 去 suggest 啲廣告俾你。咁呢，佢就好，我想加啲歷史、uh, historical facts 同埋 joke， 咁點呢 o k 佢即刻可以呢，慢慢。佢話 ：It helps to know why companies want email addresses to advertisers, web publishers, and app makers. Your email is important, not just for contacting you. For example, by tracking your purchases, companies can recommend products or services that are relevant to you. Now, Leo. The first email marketing blast was sent in 1978 by a man named Gary Thurk, who worked for Digital Equipment Corp. And with that, Gary was sent down in history as the world's first spam lord. Okay, 咁佢有啲咧歷史嘅嘢喺度啦，亦都有個 joke， 佢就係一個咩垃圾郵件之帝咁樣，即係佢可以將你嘅內容咧係提升。OK， 咁呢，啊，仲想講一講呢。咁當然有壞處啦，有機會 plagiarize essays 抄襲啦 ，spread misinformation 有啲係錯誤嘅資訊，亦都可以，所以呢，一定要做一個 fact check 嘅。不過呢，我覺得呢，真係好強勁啊 ，Chat GPT 尤其呢、這個，咁我都準備會開一個 account 㗎啦，因為對我份工都有幫助嘅，作為一個老師 ，OK， 同學即係學生都有幫助，老師都有幫助，咁啊。兩個星期之前呢，咁有個舊新呢，就係用咗 ChatGPT， 咁佢就話呢，試過問佢二零二零 restaurant review 去一間誒、呃、中菜啦，就食點心嘅，咁呢，就要寫一個食評啦，咁啊講鍾意啲咩唔鍾意啲咩，分別係幾方面，咁咧同埋你會唔會 recommend？ 咁佢 ChatGPT 呢，佢成篇文呢，係可以揼到出嚟㗎，成篇文係可以寫到出嚟㗎。OK， 咁我聽人講呢，因為我未有 account。我聽人講呢，佢仲可以模仿你過往寫文嘅風格呢，可以係寫篇文出嚟㗎。咁所以呢係好強，亦都可以叫佢寫首情詩出嚟都得㗎。聽日情人節 ，OK。咁同埋係可以寫得好浪漫啊，好優雅，全部你可以教 ，OK。所以呢，呢、這個例子我覺得要記一記 a i writing assistant， 或者你再提佢嗰陣呢，可以叫佢做 AI bot 咯。咁咧最後呢篇呢，就想講一講，就係呢呢篇文啦。大家評下分，我讀俾大家聽，你評下分 ，OK。I recently had the privilege of dining at Dim Sum One, Hong Kong's latest and greatest culinary jam. To put it simply, I was blown away. Every bite was an explosion of flavors. Each dish expertly crafted to perfection, from the juicy pork dumplings to the decadent mango pudding. The portions were generous, and I was left feeling satiated without feeling weighed down. 咁呢個咧就係講食物方面啦，所以咧佢全部緊扣啊 ，food service dining。呢個 restaurant 同埋 price， 不過當時咧就冇打呢度落去，咁所以咧佢就喺呢度出咗篇文，但係咧你都睇到係好高質。However, the real star of the show was the service. The staff was a symphony of efficiency and friendliness, constantly refilling our drinks and offering expert recommendations, making each bite all the more enjoyable. 
The dining environment was an experience in itself, with elegant and modern decor that evoked sophistication without sacrificing comfort. While the price was on a higher end, like I said, oh, it's here, oh, it's quite well. But hey, man, it was a small price to pay for the culinary masterpiece a dim sum one, dim sum, dim sum one delivers. Each bite was worth every penny, and I felt like royalty dining in such a stunning establishment. The only drawback was the wait time for a table due to its popularity, but it was well worth it for the exceptional dining experience. Dim sum one is the quintessential dining destination for those seeking a truly special experience. Whether you're a seasoned foodie or just looking for a memorable meal, this restaurant will not disappoint. If you're in search of a dining experience that would tantalize your taste buds and leave you breathless, this is the place to be. Okay, 大家平安分，攞几多分？